So you've been working with your total gym, learning about your shoulder, learning about how your shoulder blade moves, and now it's ready to move to more of a post rehab and some re prevention exercises. You're gonna start with shoulder flexion. Your feet can be on the floor. They can be up for more intensity. You can start just warming up again with the elbows bent, but then you're going to move to one arm straight. Feel what that feels like, and then you can progress to both arms being straight. Watch the shoulders dropping away from the ears. Keep the chest lifted, and again, the core engaged. You can transition the exercise to shoulder horizontal abduction or abduction, or as we know, a rear flying chest fly. Bringing the cable right across the body. You can use your feet for support, and eventually you can lift them up, dropping the shoulder away from the ear, and then the other arm can come across. Now, if you're feeling that this is starting from a position that's really challenging, just take the handle, let it go, and use the handle in front, and that might feel a little bit easier. You'll start a little later in the range of motion. Now you'll just move yourself around, face your tower, and then you'll place your feet on the rails, roll on back, and then we move into some inverted exercises. Feet on the rails from south spot. You'll do one arm. You can go all the way overhead or just to 90 degrees, back to that shoulder flexion. Now if you want to just do both arms, you most likely will just be able to get to 90 degrees with the arms. You'll transition out to the side for lateral flexion. To transition this move make it a little bit more challenging, you can use one arm and go all the way up overhead and back down, ensuring that there's no pain with all movements. Flip the hand, and then you move right into inverted biceps. And then you can roll on up, anchor down, scoop back. We often forget about that we can lie on our belly, and then we move right into shoulder extension. This way our spine supported, and you might be able to up the weight just a little bit. Then you keep those hands right by the hips, and move right into tricep extension. To add a little variability, you can always add a little bit extension of the spine, we'll focus on that upper back, and then perform the movement. So that's your way of how to take your next phase of your strengthening of your shoulder.